Where I live in California is currently experiencing a long heat wave, and so I wanted to put up a video to show how much power the EG4 hybrid mini split draws in these types of weather. So for some background information, I have the 24K hybrid unit and currently only have it powered by solar. I have four 450 watt bifacial panels connected. It's not hooked up to the grid at all, Hoping to change that in the near future, however, I've only had this unit for about two weeks now, so I've just not had the time to get that done. Now where I live is in the foothills of the Sierra Nevadas, and this heat wave brought temperatures above 110 degrees. So during the hottest part of the day, I set the EG4 to 70 degrees and put the fan on a medium speed to see how much power it would use. And after a few minutes, it looks like it was pulling consistently around 1300 watts which I think is pretty efficient given the extreme heat. Also, this thing is super quiet. Even on high fan, you can easily hold a conversation right next to it. Overall, so far, I absolutely love the EG4 hybrid mini split. It does a great job at keeping our house cool and helping me cut down on my incredibly expensive California power bill, which is at peak hours, 62 cents a kilowatt hour. So running your central AC can get really expensive very quickly here. However, I can run the EG4 guilt-free with solar, so I do plan on making more videos with updates about the EG4, how it's running, as well as how fast it pays for itself. And I'm not an HVAC guy, nor am I an electrician. I'm just a homeowner that is currently getting into the off-grid, efficient ways to run my house and lower my bills. Now, I've been watching plenty of YouTube videos about these mini splits and setting up solar, so I just wanted to make a video to give people who are interested in these things even more information to look at. Now, if you have any questions about my setup or if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below.